welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hopefully this is uh, in focus. Ooh, hopefully. <laughs> I would like to talk about 23andMe and Women's Slam. So Women's Slam or Slam is uh, kind of like an online magazine. I think they have actual physical print magazines too as well, but mostly I'm just on social media. So I think about it as a online uh, publication, but it talks about uh, basketball and uh, W Slam had a party uh, right after the draft. It had like an after party and they were giving out 23andMe testing kits, which was pretty cool, pretty dope. And then W Slam on their Instagram reels, they put the QR code to get your own. So they were sharing it with the public for free. It's a free kit, not only health, but also health and ancestry, both of them together. And this is like, you know, if you get it full price, it's like $200, you know, if you get it on sale, maybe like $80, but it's really hard to find. I'm really happy that they had this for free. I'm like, thank you, W Slam. Thank you, 23andMe. Did not ask for that, but really excited about it. And um, hopefully I'm not flashing my, my addresses on the back. So hopefully if I did, I will cut that out <laughs> or blur it. But yeah, I'm really excited. I want to try this and I'm going to do it on camera and see what it's like. Uh, I've never done a ancestry test. I know I'm kind of opening myself up for possible drama <laughs> because um, I do not know my birth father. So if I, I do know his name though. So if I do this test, there is a good chance that either him or someone in his family has also done this test and that could connect us because I know that that is a possibility. I am very uh, interested to see what happens with this, but I'm also a little scared because I don't know what can of worms I might be opening. So let's take a look. Um, let's do the test on camera and yeah, we'll see what happens. Saliva collection. Hi. Ooh la la. <laughs> what do we have here? All of the kit stuff. Ready, set, wait. <laughs> Before you begin, please review this important information. Okay, it wants me to register the kit. Now, take out the barcode and put the barcode in here. The 14 digit barcode. All right. Uh, it's asking for birth sex. Hmm. There's a transgender one. There's going to be issues. This is kind of hard because the trans part is hard. I think this is important to bring up. Like, what do I choose? My birth, I guess I'll put my birth sex because it is going off of chromosomes. So yeah, I'll, I'll put birth sex as female. Um, and then it does give me the option for gender. And so I will put man. So that will help them at least in terms of they, if they get, if they get confused. <laughs> um, all right, and this is the terms and agreements. Fantastic. Whatever. Oh my God, there's so much. <laughs> they do ask you a million questions before you uh, get into it. Okay, register. Provide your sample. Step two. Let's do it. This is a lot of spit. <laughs> fill, fill the line. Spit into the funnel until the amount of liquid saliva, not bubbles, reaches the line. Fill two. So you have to fill to this line. This is a lot. Oh no, it's just right here. I thought it was all the way to the bottom. Once you're done, you close the lid and then you screw the cap and you seal the bag and all the jazz. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So I just have to spit a lot. You'll see this on camera, but I will edit it out. So, <laughs> wow. This is gonna take a long time because the bubbles have already hit the line, but my saliva is only like one fourth of the way there. And I've been spitting, I probably spit like six times already. Oh, I think I made it. Yeah, I filled it up. Cool. It actually didn't take that long. So now I turn this. And holding the tube right, close the funnel and firmly pushing down a little until you hear the click. All right, now that's filled up. Unscrew this and discard. Ew, gross. <laughs> now put on your cap. Ew, it's gross. All right, now I've got the cap on. Got the cap on. Now it says to shake the tube for five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. All right, now put this tube in the bag. You're nearly done. Now place the cap tube in the bag containing the absorbent pad in the, and seal the bag. Do not remove the absorbent pad from the bag. <laughs> yeah, so seal it and then seal it. So push it down. And take off this and fold it over. Now it's a biohazard bag. Now ship and box. <laughs> Do I put it in back in here or what? Feels it's recyclable if you feel so inclined. So I'll put this back in here, close this up. Oh it's already oh that's so great. The address is on the back already, so 
peel this off. All right, easy peasy. Ship in the box, and I just gotta drop it off. It's no process necessary. And then let the discovery begin. Once your sample has been processed, you receive an email letting you know that the results are in. Simply log in and begin. So this is the first step in the journey. It took what, about five minutes or so to get this together. It wasn't that bad actually. And it will be the start of a new journey for me because I'll find out what's going on with my health. I'll find out what's going on with um, a lot of things. <laughs> um, I'm assuming health wise and then genetics. So like not only finding out what's wrong with me, health wise but like maybe even connections to family that i didn't even know about so this could be quite interesting we'll see thanks for watching um we go through that really appreciate it much love to 23andme and w slam for sharing that really appreciate it it's very valuable information and um yeah very 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 appreciative of it so anywho thanks for watching everybody and hopefully i'll see you next time all right